The COVID-19 experience has not been severe for every patient, but some not as lucky. Michaela Schindler spoke with Mason Fox, a 29-year-old substitute teacher who almost lost his life to that virus twice. She has his story. Mason Fox was a substitute teacher and assistant soccer coach in Upshur County when he got very sick from COVID-19. On October 3rd, 2021, he started out by going to WVU Medicine St. Joseph's Hospital in Buchanan. Fox was flown to the JW Ruby Memorial Hospital when physicians realized there was nothing else they could do to help. He then fell into a medically induced coma for four to five days. Mason Fox received extracorporeal membrane oxygenation support in which it was said that he would have died without it. He got out in mid-November, but had to learn how to walk and eat again. After the 1st of January, I remember uh, trying to go back to work full time and it was just so hard because there's mornings where I woke up where I had so much muscular atrophy where I lost so much muscle in the hospital that I couldn't talk. They were still requiring to wear masks. It was hard for me to wear a mask, you know, and I just couldn't do it. Fox lost his job and car and almost lost his apartment. He applied for disability and was denied. Since getting out of the hospital, Fox has gone septic due to a problem with his teeth from the ventilator. He only has 75% of his lungs left, has developed sleep apnea and night terrors and gout. Fox also goes to pulmonary rehab two days a week and physical therapy therapy one day a week. As of now, Fox Substitute teaches with Montegalia County Schools, but is still in recovery. He even mentioned that they are amazing with working with his needs. Melissa Henry, Fox's physical therapist, told 12 News how his progress has been. We first came in trouble just talking to each other or trouble just going from a sit to stand position to now we're communicating throughout the treatment, you know, laughing, having fun while we're doing a more robust or vigorous exercise that doesn't just involve movement in one place, but movement kind of throughout the clinic here. Um, and as Mason indicated, there's been some setbacks along the way. You know, there's definitely been new things about COVID that I've learned. Fox wants everyone to know that he will not give up and that he is always there to talk if it is needed. You are strong and you can get through this. He is an example. Reporting in Morgantown, I'm Michaela Schindler with 12 News.